In this video, we will cover some more advanced tips and tricks as well as how to recalibrate the auto wake system should it ever be needed. Make sure you have watched videos number one and two showing how to turn on the auto wake system and then understanding the auto wake instrumentation before continuing with this video. Before jumping into the details, we should stress that the displacement of the hull is the most important thing when creating a wave. Displacement comes from the weight of the boat, the gear in the boat, how much fuel is in the boat, ballast, and any passengers that you have. The more displacement that you have, the bigger the wave will be. As the saying goes, there is no replacement for displacement. The first tip we are going to give you is showing you a way to customize your wave and maintain ballast on board just by adjusting the factory set points. For example, you accelerate up to speed and the wake has formed and you really like the wave, but the auto wake system has not achieved those factory set points. You can change the factory pitch and roll set points to match your actual pitch and roll so that auto wake will not have to make any adjustments. So say I'm, I'm up and running, I really like my wave, but it hasn't achieved the preset points yet. Um, but I, I like the wave how it is. What I can do is change my preset points just to match that of what I'm currently running. So here we're already dialed in, but on the roll, I can adjust that down to actually match the preset point. Now my ballast will maintain everything on board and still make auto wave uh, be achieved. The pitch and roll numbers will turn green and it will no longer pump ballast in or out unless the passengers move or, or other items are adjusted. Keep in mind that these pitch and roll settings are just temporarily saved. You will need to go into the system settings and adjust the set points, saving them to have a permanent change. The next tip we have is to help you set up the wake manually and then essentially save that manual setup to the auto wake system. You can do this by keeping the auto wake system off at first and then set the boat up manually just as you have always done before the release of auto wake. You would manually fill the ballast to the levels that you want it, move passengers where you want them, set your speed, wake plates, and any other variables. Once you are up and running, you get the wave that you want, you should turn on the auto wake system temporarily and see the pitch and roll numbers that you are running. Make note of these numbers and then turn auto wake back off. You can then adjust the preset levels to match those numbers that you just took note of and then turn on the auto wake system. Now auto wake has essentially saved that wake that you manually set up and it should get you to the same wake every time as long as you have the same passenger load in the future. The benefit you will get now is that auto wake will make adjustments should passengers start to move around the boat. Next is learning to use the auto wake off and on buttons at the appropriate times. This can be viewed as essentially pausing the system. There are certain times that you may not want the auto wake system to make automatic adjustments for you. By pausing the system, it will make sure that the boat maintains the maximum amount of ballast as you previously had in the boat before the conditions changed. Once everything is set and you start pulling the rider again, you can turn the system back on or unpause and allow the auto wake system to dial the wave back in. The last thing we will cover is how to recalibrate the inclinometer of the auto wake system. This is the most important thing to get right as a system that has an incorrect calibration will cause the system to not function correctly, most likely resulting in a bad or a small wave. The inclinometer is the piece of hardware that measures the angles or the pitch and roll of the boat. Calibrating the inclinometer is quick and easy. First, the boat must be in fairly calm water with no extra gear, no ballast filled, no lead, or any other gear. Only the person doing the calibration needs to be in the boat. Now you need to go into the auto wake calibration screen. You will go to settings, vessel settings, auto wake settings, and then calibrate inclinometer. The person in the boat needs to stand in between the driver's seat and observer's seat in the middle of the boat, lean over, and set the pitch and roll to zero. After you have done that, then go back to the home screen. To check that you calibrated roll correctly, get the boat up to wakeboard speed and run the wake plate all the way up. 
Get the wakeboard wakes looking perfectly symmetrical on both sides, so basically a good looking wakeboard wake. Your roll should be very close to zero degrees. If not, while still at wakeboard speed and having a good looking wakeboard wake, go into settings and reset roll only to zero. Well that wraps up video number three, showing you tips and tricks of the auto wake system. We hope that you now have a better understanding of auto wake and ultimately have a better time on the water creating and riding great wakes and waves. If you have any other questions, we encourage you to contact your servicing dealer. Thanks and see you on the water.